Hey guys, this is my Irish Red Ale. Uh, it's the all green one that I had uh, told you guys about earlier. I went ahead and fermented it Monday, so it's it's or, or I brewed it Monday and now it's fermenting. Um, just want to let you guys know what'll be coming up soon. Hey everybody, uh, logging in today to do a review on my Kolsch. Um, I was gonna do one on my Brown Ale or the Caribou Slobber, but it seemed like somebody decided to go and grab the last one, and now I don't have it to review on. But anyways, we'll go ahead and do the Kolsch. Um, this Kolsch, I just finished, uh, I bottled it a little over a week ago. Um, I did add a, about a cup of honey to it, because some people said that it has a, little, a bit of a bitter taste, and the honey helps cut through that. And when you're drinking a light beer, or for me anyway, I don't really want to have a lot of bitter taste. I'm more of a lager, a light lager type of person when it comes to the lighter beers. But um, I threw the honey in here to help cut through some of that uh, bitterness. And we're getting ready to test it out now. Uh, test it out for the head, the color, the smell, and the taste. And hopefully it's all good. And let's go ahead and break this open right now. Drop that cap again. Very smoky. I didn't pour this very vigorously because I didn't know how it was going to react. I know the caribou slobber, um, when I pour it, it makes a massive head. I mean, it just like starts from down here and just fills the entire uh, glass up. So I decided to pour this a lot less, uh, uh, or a lot more slower. The head is uh, just white. It's a white head. I get slight hints of honey. I did put a whole lot of honey. This was a three gallon batch, one cup of honey. Gives it a, a nice sweet aroma. It's a bit chilled and it's very carbonated. There's like, I wish you could, I don't know if you can see this or not. There is like all kinds of carbonation just blowing up in there. Look at that. Um, not really too sure on the color in this lighting. Maybe a straw color or a little bit deeper. It's a, It's got a great, beautiful, crisp color to it. And we'll see what the... I get mostly honey. I don't really get a whole lot of hop smell. Of course, there was only one ounce of hops added to this. Uh, half an ounce at the beginning of the brew, 60 minutes of the uh, boil, 60 minutes, and then at the last, uh, I think, 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, one of the two, I can't really remember. It was, you put it in the other half. So you're only using one ounce of hops in this entire thing. Let's go ahead and give her a taste. This is a, uh, I can t barely taste the honey in it, which is good. It's more of an afterthought. Did want it really overpowering with the honey. Um, still got a slight, it's still got a, it does have a slight bitter taste to it, which is, it, which is just right because it's not overpowering. You got to understand this is only a week and a half in the bottle. There is, I'll, I'll try to get it in another week and a half, so three weeks. It's pretty clear. I mean, it's got some chill haze to it, of course, because it's only been in the refrigerator for a day or so. But it, it's it got great carbonation. It's got a wonderful taste. You can taste the taste slight, you know, some, some, some of the hops. It's not too prominent, but it's still there. I would, I would brew this again. Actually, I would brew this before I would brew the Bavarian Hefeweizen. Because this is more of a summer beer to me than the Bavarian Hefeweizen was. I'm sure people would disagree on that, but it's all preference. You like what you like, and I like what I like. If anybody's got any more ideas about, you know, the lighter beers, you know, summer beer, uh, session beers, etc., saisons or whatever, whichever ones that you like the best, put it in the comments below, and I'll check them out. And whichever one I feel that I think might be the best to try out for myself, I will do that. Okay, 
previous video, you seen I had fermented my uh, Irish Red Ale that is an all grain. Um, I just started that Monday, so next week, if it's done fermenting on Monday, then I will go ahead and uh, stick them in bottles and put them in there to get bottle conditioned. If it's not done, I'm going to go ahead and do it for a second week, and then we'll go from there. Sorry, guys, I'm sick again. This Kentucky weather and, this, and, and the springtime, these allergies are really kicking my butt. I actually have bad allergies, and I am supposed to carry around an EpiPen because of it, because of the allergies just from the pollens, not bees or anything like that, just from the pollens in Kentucky. Um, there's also a possibility in the future that I may have to move. It was suggested I move out west or up north where it's cooler. But anyways, we'll get to that on a different video. Um, I also ordered a a grain all grain, a new all grain beer. It's 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 uh, totally put together by myself. Some chocolates, the, some uh, two or three different rice uh, grains. I'm going to be uh, making a brown ale just by going by the grains that I read on Northern Brewer. Dot com. I went on there and checked out the grains and tried to figure out what kind of uh, grains would be good for a brown ale and what sounded good to me. Um, definitely going to have a chocolate, a chocolate type of grain going on in there. They should be here this week. If not, they'll be here the following week, and I will uh, uh, inform you guys when that arrives. That way, you can see what kind of grains I've got going on. But anyways. I've also got the uh, building up there on the hill. I added the uh, I added the solar panels that are installed. I'll be doing the interior walls soon, and then I'll be wiring the place to uh, work for the solar panels and stuff like that. Um, I will be putting a sink in there, a bathroom, and you already know a sound booth. Um, I need to get some windows, a, a sound booth window, and some uh, interior doors for that as well. Uh, I did tell you that I was going to paint the floors. I was going to paint the floors uh, with some epoxy paint. I figured it'd be best that way. It won't be. It won't cost as much as you know putting like hardwood floors or something like that that, that I liked that I would really like to put in there. But epoxy is going to be fine. Help uh, lower the cost on things and and put more of the cost, the the, the amount of the more money into things like the sound booth and uh, into the electrical system of the of the building itself. But uh, I just wanted to log in here today on this homebrew Wednesday and uh, give you guys the scoop on what's going on. And you see this? I mean, it is just still kicking with carbonation. It's crazy. It's got a lot of carbonation. Uh, let me go ahead and tell you a little something about this, what I did to this. The, I did put the honey in it during the boil. Um, at the end of the fer fermentation process, when you go to bottle it, you put your priming sugars in it. And I think that's why the head is staying like it is and the head is still there the carbonation is wonderful and I think it was just by taking the priming sugars and sticking it straight into the bucket bottling bucket with the uh, fluids for for the beer instead of taking the uh, the priming sugars and uh, dissolving it inside of water and then putting it into the priming bucket I noticed that the carbonation in this and the caribou slobber is up there. So if anybody's having problems with adding carbonation to their beer, take the sugar and stick it straight into the uh, five-gallon bucket bottling, into the five-gallon batch of uh, beer into your bottling bucket with it. Gently stir it. Don't get air bubbles all up in there. Just, you know, just gradually pour the sugar in there and gently stir it in, in, in a slow manner. And your carbonation, on my, just like on my last two batches, the caribou slobber, and this 100% uh, Kolsch that I added honey to, the carbonation is just off the top. I mean, it's just awesome. I, I'm i glad I did it. But anyways, y'all have a good one and keep brewing. Oh, cheers. One more drink to that. <laughs> mm.